Hi guys, it's Daniela again and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I decided that I would do my top 10 under 10 pounds. So in today's video, I'll be including 10 items that are all drugstore, obviously, and they're all 10 pounds or less. And all these products I'm going to talk about today are all products that I really, really enjoy and would recommend to any of my friends or family. So I've seen these type of videos before on YouTube. I'm not saying that I'm a creator. I don't know who created this. But I've always wanted to do a video like this, so I thought I would do it today. So if you're excited about this video, continue watching and let's get started. Hi guys, so for today's video, as I said in my intro, I'm going to talk about 10 products that are all under £10 and that I really, really like. So I recommend it to you guys. But before we get started, I do want to mention the tutorial for this look will probably be up after this video. And if it is, I'll link it up wherever it belongs. I did uncover a really good product when I did this full face. So make sure you watch that video to know what I'm talking about. Anyways, let's stop talking and let's actually get started. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is primer. And the primer I'm gonna talk about is this one here. This is the L'Oreal Lumi Magique Primer. This is a really good glowy primer. I really like this. The reason why I bought this myself was I heard that this was a very similar product to the MAC Strobe Light, I think it's called. And I didn't want to buy that, so I bought this one. And I really, really like this. I usually use this either all over my face if I really want to go glowy, or I just put it on my cheekbones and in the center of my face. This here costs £9, but it's currently sold out everywhere. If you can find this in your local super drugs or boots, highly recommend definitely pick up again if i run out so that's the first product so the second product is a foundation i have spoken very highly about and it's a product i still use to this day i've had this for a while now i really enjoy it i really like the staining powder the coverage the finish it's just a really good foundation and this is the la girl pro coverage hd foundation the color i have is fair which is a little bit too fair for me but i really like this foundation the finish is like a it's not a matte, it's not really dewy, it's more like satin dewy, if that makes sense. It doesn't like pick up any texture or any dry patches. This to me doesn't get excessively oily, I don't get cakey with it. It lasts really well, it doesn't look weird on my texture, it covers my acne pretty well. It's just a really good foundation. And you can actually buy this from Beauty Bay for £7 right now because there is like a massive sale on at the moment. But usually, I believe this is 10 or £11, but I still wanted to include it because I don't know if it is £11 or not. I feel like it's £10, but it's a really good foundation, so I would highly, highly recommend this. So the third item is the Makeup Revolution and Soap Extra Spice Palette, and this is what it looks like. Oh my god, this palette is really good. And it's only £10. There's no, like, sale on at the moment. This is just £10. And do you know what? This is probably one of the best drugstore palette I've ever used. So out of this whole palette, I've used 10 mattes and 6 shimmers. This palette is one of my favourite. If I want a really warm, sunset-y kind of eye, I know this palette has it for me. If I want just a really basic look, I can do it with this palette. If I want to make it like a date night or a clubbing kind of look, I can do it with this palette. This palette I would definitely recommend, and for £10, like, where can you go wrong? Like, palettes usually are, like, £30, £40. You're spending 10 quid, £10 on an eyeshadow palette. What? That's so good. So, moving on to my fourth product, which is also Makeup Revolution and Soap. This is the Makeup Revolution and Soap Highlighting Palette. So, this palette here is definitely my favourite for highlighting. I always go back to this for highlighting. I haven't touched my LA Girl one in ages just because I've been using this one so much. You can see this is the highlight that I use the most of. I do dip into this one for my inner corner. I do dip into all four of these much more than the four on the top. And yeah, I just really like it. If I wanted a pink highlighter, I've got one here. If I wanted a like a lavender one i've got it here so yeah i have spoken about this palette before it's one of my favorites for highlighting i really like it you can go like really natural glowy with it or you can bump it up and be like blinding so i really like it and i just like the fact that it's a palette so if i'm wanting more shades i have the choice you can use this on clients if you're a makeup artist if you're a makeup artist i would definitely recommend this because i feel like whether you have a small clientele or a large clientele from different skin tones 
you could still use this i think so and also the highlighting palette is only eight pounds if i could i would tell everyone to go and get it because it's really good it's really good quality and for eight pounds you cannot go wrong and sophie done a really good job on this and extra spice palette really like it so my fifth product is by barry m and it's called the crush jewel cream eyeshadow and this is in the color fairy tale this is the color fairy tale right here this is what the actual component looks like and i have to say this is a stunning cream eyeshadow it dries down really well it doesn't crease whether you have creases because i have like creasy eyelids if that's a thing but yeah so this doesn't dry down weird it does dry a little bit tight at first but once like your eyes get used to it it's fine but i really like this the color is beautiful the formula is really nice and this all over the lid with some color in the crease is such a simple yet beautiful look i've used it like that before myself and this is only four pounds 99 from super drugs so yeah i highly recommend this and really enjoy this sticking with eyes the next thing i want to talk about is an eyeliner this is the essence liquid ink eyeliner this is two pounds 30 from wilkinson's and for me this is just a really good eyeliner it dries matte really well it's long lasting i do like the tip it's not a uh, felt tip it's an actual brush the only thing i do have to say is that because it's very flexible it's hard to get like a really sharp wing but i always do my eyes first so i don't really see that being a problem for me i always have to clean up my eyes anyways after i do a wing so yes it is a little bit harder or tricky i would say to create a really sharp wing but this is really like friendly for beginners i feel like it's really easy to get like a really thin line on like your lash line and then wing it out it's still an easy eyeliner to use and for two pounds 30 you're paying for really dark pigmented eyeliner you know it doesn't budge very easily like you can smoke it out still which i really do like you have a little bit of wiggle time just to smoke it out a bit but once it's set it's set and yeah i really like it for two pounds 30 you really can't go wrong so my seventh product is the last thing i'm going to talk about for the eyes and this is the maybelline last sensational mascara i haven't used this in a while but it is my mascara I will go to all the time so at the moment I have this one open and I don't want to not use it because then it will dry out and I have to throw it away so I've stopped using this but even though I've stopped using it it's not dried out it's really nice for like just making your eyelashes look really good like I don't even know how to explain it to you like it separates your lash it gives you volume it gives you some length it's just a really good mascara and I know loads of people talk about this and do you know what they have a good reason to because it's a really good mascara and this mascara here is £7.64 from Superdrugs. I've said before mascara is something that I can kind of get away with using a variety of mascaras unless it's really flaky or a really dry formula I can kind of get away with using just a lot of mascaras really but I do really like this mascara out of all the mascaras I have tried this is one that I think I will constantly repurchase. But yes, £7.64 isn't that cheap for a mascara because you do have to get rid of them quite often. People say three months, some people say six months. I say whenever it's getting really like dried and crusty. So yeah, I'm not that fussy about mascaras, but this one, I would recommend it to everyone who wants really just lovely lashes so now i'm going to talk about brows this is the l'oreal brow artist plumper in the shade medium to dark this is my favorite brow gel i don't use high-end brow gels i will only use this or like alternatives like a cheaper version to it the color is lovely the spoolie i really like this is what the spoolie looks like it's a really small dainty spoolie so you can really get into your brows it keeps them in place while looking fluffy and looking just <sighs> beautiful i recommend this to everyone who's looking for a brow gel you don't need to buy an expensive brow gel this brow mascara is seven pounds in super drugs if you're looking for a drugstore brow mascara that one is the good goodness so now the second from last product I'm going to talk about is lip liners. These lip liners are probably my favourite. These are the NYX Glide On Slide On Stay On Definitely A Turn On lip liner. It's a long ass name for a really good 
product. So this one here is new suede shoes and this one is sugar glass. These lip liners are so incredibly good. They are creamy. They stay on. They're matte but they don't crumble like some lip liners. They're just really good lip liners. These cost £6. You can get them at Boots. You can get them at Colt Beauty, Debenhams. They're just really good lip liners. And yes, £6 isn't overly cheap for a lip liner but for me, these are worth it. If I'm honest, I like all of NYX lip liners, but those two are my absolute favourite and I just wanted to mention those two in particular. The majority of my lip liners are NYX and if I'm honest, I prefer my NYX lip liners over my MAC ones. So the next product is actually two products, but they're apparently from like the different range, but they're the same product. Does that make any sense? Probably not. So I'm going to talk about the L'Oreal Dazzle lip gloss and the l'oreal extreme resist lip gloss these two both cost seven pounds you can find the dazzle one in boots and the extreme resist in feel unique for seven pounds these two glosses are so good so good i compare these two very similarly to the whole vibe of over the top by dose of colors and desi and katie you know like the kind of sheer kind of gloss with like really micro specks of glitter and shimmer so i'm just going to put on the dazzle one <laughs> it's so pretty and i really like the applicator the applicator is very odd but it's really good to like really curve around your lips with these two glosses you don't feel anything on your lips quite a thick formula but they're not like goopy if that makes sense they last a long time on the lips and in general they last quite long because i've had these two for ages so yeah i highly recommend these for seven pounds your lips look wet and moist <laughs> so this guys was my top 10 products for 10 pounds or under these are products that i would recommend to absolutely everyone and anyone if you're on a budget if you're not on a budget and you still want really good products these are products that you should try i would recommend these products just to try them out, just to see how good they really are. So yeah guys, please let me know if you like videos like this. I enjoy watching videos like this myself. I like finding out new like drugstore goodies that are cheap and good. They're still affordable, but they're still really good products. So yeah guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to give me a thumbs up, some comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.